of action. So do we need to do one, do item 10 and then 11 or 9, 10, 11, or can we lump them all together? Or what's your advice on that? I would recommend doing each one individually, but you can lump them all together, but it's just cleaner if you take action on each resolution so we know who moved, who second, and it's approved. Well, my, my question is, um, if hypothetically first is approved, is there any tie-in to second for that? Hey, can you repeat your question again? So if hypothetically number one's approved, any um, bearing or any tie-in to one or two of that? So... Does that does that kind of? So like no, the, I think what Steve's trying to say is, we do twenty twenty three oh nine, and we approve that. We're automatically approving basically ten and eleven. Uh, that yeah, is. is there or any any information out of that mitigation uh, that that could impact one or or two or three? Um. You can approve number one. You don't have to. Um, at the end, these are going to be recommendations that, that go to the city council. Um, it's always recommended that you move forward with the environmental assessment first, the initial study mitigating negative declaration. If you agree that it was done properly, then it's appropriate that to approve it or recommend approving of it. Now, you could elect to say, you know what, we are not in support of the tenant subdivision map. We don't think the findings can be made. And so we want to recommend denial of that. You can do that. Even though you, you deny that, that, that does not negate the, the status of the environmental document. And then same thing with uh, the general plan amendment number three. It makes sense to do the general plan amendment. Um, it, like I said, it's on the industrial reserve. The general plan says don't do any development until after 2020. And so now it's the year after 2020. We're in 2023. So it makes sense to kind of general, you know, do a general plan amendment. Um, so really the question is, do you want to approve resolution, you know, 23-10 approving the subdivision map or not? Uh, staffers are recommending that you approve it. We have conditions of approval that right do we, do we have to go in a specific order? Um, Ideally, the first one should be done. The, the initial study, the mitigation measure should be done first. Uh, the next two, the general plan could go second, and the last one could be the subdivision map. But we um, could approve dash 11 first and deny 9 and 10. I mean, well, that's what we're trying to get straight in our minds. Yeah, my recommendation is to consider the first one first, and then you can go with the, the third one. And we just renumbered those, and then the last one would be the subdivision map. I'm not sure there's any concerns with it approving or denying or recommending denial of any of these. Again, these are just recommendations to the city council. The city council will have final consideration and action on each of these. And then one odd question, and Miguel, nobody has ever contacted the property owners are there or the city hasn't looked at annexing that part of the county into the city where all the houses are? Has that been addressed? Uh, now while I've been with the city, um, I know annexations aren't really possible at this time until there's a, a tax sharing agreement between the city and the county and there right. isn't any. So without that, there's really no ability to annex those properties. Can they annex in the future? Yes, it's in our uh, in our general plan area. Um, I'm just curious because they're going to build up and put a sewer line and a water line from out on Cressy all the way in, bypassing all those properties, which I assume are on wells. If you're in the county house, and Mr. Smith, yours is yeah. So I was just curious. You got you all have private wells, and then that construction of a new sewer. Water, I mean, it's going <coughs> bypassing all that to get to what a mile and a half down the road into this new subdivision. Am I understanding that right? 
Yeah, that's true. You're right. Um, that was just a wild thought. Okay, so we're back to. Do we want to? Well, I'll make a. Um, yeah, I'll make a motion uh, to approve uh, resolution 2023-09. Which is recommending adoption of the initial study mitigated, mitigated yeah. negative declaration yeah. with the mitigation I'll monitoring. make a motion to uh, uh, okay. adopt that. Do we have a second? I'll second. Roll call. Roll call. Commissioner Renee Mendonca. Commissioner Andres Fuentes. Yes. Commissioner Jose Flores? Yes. Vice Chair Steve Bassey? Yes. Chair Bob Wallace? Yes. Motion approved by a vote of four, uh, one, or one abstain. Was, was yours a, I, I didn't hear you. I was in a quandary. Well, I don't think I've ever come to this position in the abstain, no time I've had in the Planning Commission. I'll say yes. Okay. <laughs> Motion approved by a vote of four, uh, five zero. Okay, next up would be item 2023-10. I just, I think I need more information on this. I, I would like to see it divided into a, a smaller um, and then subdivide into a smaller but something separated um, as I've expressed it already um, multiple times. So um, I'll let you guys, whoever has motions, um, tackle this one. I think I'm in along with you though. I would like to see it as well in in sections. I can, so I can, you're trying to say, Mr. Bassett, you want 2023 10, we're going to not recommend it. Well, I'm. As, as well, I, if, if someone has a motion to adopt it, that's a different, but hmm. I'm just giving you my viewpoint at the moment. Um, but if someone has a motion to uh, um, or recommend approval of it, then you can have at it. How, how about this? Um, a lot of industrial parks similar to this are in the same design where they have multiple lots. Just our industrial area has multiple lots, if I'm correct. How they're subdivided and all in one, one row. And then one owner can rent out three or four of those parcels and it's, you know, their thing. So to me, it's no different from any other one that I've seen with you go to Merced or Turlock, mm -hmm. Hillmar. They all have similar designs to this where it's multiple okay. lots. And then they're, you know, carried out. But like, good example, like always towing can have two of them side by side, and that's what yeah, they do. Yeah, but the difference is that's commercial, and this will open up again the non-cannabis versus and the, the cannabis, cannabis right. as well. Mm -hmm. That's the difference that I see it as, and I want to see a little bit of more um, guarantee, you know, a, a little bit of more of separation between the two. Mm -hmm. Just and that's uh, and that's just a, a planning thing for myself. Okay, I'll make a motion on twenty twenty three dash ten that we do not approve it. Number two, until we get more information comes back. Yeah, I would say to I'll second it, that. I would say to bring back with um, uh, maybe a more uh, informative and more divided uh, plan um, of uh, how we want to tackle this. And not just carte blanche uh, 22 and anything just can come in there. That makes it a little challenging for on, on, on the commission side. That's, that's my point of view. Okay, we have I mean, a motion and a second. Can we need a roll call? I'll second that motion. We need a roll call because I already heard you say you seconded it. For the record, um, Mr. Wallace, Chair Bob Wallace, you made the motion? I did. Okay. Thank you. So again, we're making a motion not to not approve it. Do okay. not adopt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If I was to want to approve it, what well, what would I say? You would <laughs> make it a motion so to approve. Right. 
I mean, I understand, you know, uh, Miguel's point of view and you know, how he explained. I mean, you you have to start. I mean, again, it's all the whole lot to itself. I mean, where the well's at. I mean, you have to really get all that started first before you can start from the top how they're wanting to do it. So I understand their breakdown, uh, but I understand from our point of view too. We have we want to have some control. I mean, you know, Bessie. Um, you know, if we approve it, we are just pretty much leaving it up to them. You know, in their hands of you know what they want to add there, how many, how much they want to add. But um, yeah, however, we have a second. Motion in a second. And yeah, I'm kind of, I'm, I, 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 I kind of following Andres here. So, um, a motion not to approve, and we have a second. Right. But Andres is saying that maybe he wants to um, you potentially. You want to make a motion, Andres, to approve? Yeah, but don't we have to go through your motion yes. first? Right, we have to go through your motion. Right, you have to complete the action <laughs> though uh, on the motion that's been. Initiated and second, and then there's a vote. And it, I mean, motion you're having a second that. discussion, but if, if the commission doesn't want to approve that motion, then you know they vote not to approve it on a majority. Then there can be a, a different motion, but you need to finish up that motion yeah, second yeah, first. First and second, yes. So it's been moved and second to not recommend approval of the tentative, tentative subdivision map number 2020-20. As it stands. As as yes, proposed. Yeah. Yes, yeah, as proposed. So we need a roll call on it. Yep. Roll call, Commissioner Renee Mendonca. To not approve. To not approve. Yes. Commissioner Andres Fuentes. I would like to approve it, so. There's a no. So, so no. no <laughs> Commissioner Jose Flores. That will be a no. Vice Chair Steve Bassey? Yes. Chair Bob Wallace? Yes. Motion to not approve um, by a vote of three, two. Is approved. Yeah, now we're moving on to 2311, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So, Miguel, on this, like, is the goal, like, majority of our industrial reserves to make them limited industrial? I, you know, like, what, what precedents are we setting? Um, it doesn't have to be limited industrial, it can be general industrial, but limited industrial has a little more, um, I'll just say restrictions. M2 is, is pretty much anything goes. <laughs> and one is there's more limitations, and, you know, you get use permits involved and stuff like that. Um, you're kind of developing out the north part of town. Uh, you got foster pharmacists in the general industrial, heavy industrial. Mm -hmm. And it's really, you know, what type of um, land uses do you want to see out there? And, you know, staff thinks that a limited industrial is more appropriate to kind of serve as a transition between the heavy industrial and some of the surrounding properties. But, um, you know, that's our recommendation. That's what the application has applied for uh, to amend the general plan. It really, is to take it out of the urban reserve, because in the urban reserve setting, you really aren't allowed to develop until... So, so much time has passed by in that case. You know, they identify the year 2020. It's like, don't do anything on, on this property until the year 2020 comes by. Well, now we're in 2023, so it makes sense. Yeah, we can consider development out here, so let's just change the general plan for this area. Why, why 20? What was the significance of 2020? I don't know. This is from the 1999 general plan. They thought 20 years from now, we'll probably be developing out here, so let's allow that. It's just the wisdom of that earlier time. Yeah. So 
So what limitations does industrial reserve have? What, say that again, what, what limitations, limitations uh, does industrial reserve have? Again, we're, we're talking about the general plan versus the zoning. Um, industrial reserve means we have plans that's going to be industrial, but at this point, no development should take place out there until so much time has passed, which is 2020. There's no other limitations than that. Like they're setting land aside in the future to be developed as industrial until the city has grown or there's really no other limitations other than if it's industrial reserve, you won't be able to make the finding that um, the M1 zone is consistent with the um, industrial reserve because the industrial reserve, there's no development yet. Even though it's industrial, they want to develop anything in there with the M1 zone, you can't make the finding that's consistent with the general plan then. But if you change it to limited industrial, then they line up the M1 is limited industrial and the general plan is limited industrial, then they can move forward with development. One of, one of them allowed cannabis, right? And the other didn't, if I remember correctly, off your general plan chart for IR versus LI. So you can't be the first to like put like industrial out there. Is that what you're saying? In a in a in a uh, industrial reserve. Yeah, reserve is kind of like you know hands off. You can't do anything on this property yet. No development. Yeah, and we can't say that you can. Right now, the general plan says it's in reserve, and so development is not contemplated there yet. So if like a neighboring property was to develop, then what? Um, a neighboring property can only be developed out there if it's... Uh, I don't think there's... I think it's in the way. county or if it's in the I'm city. Just, I'm just saying... Like, I think you're very limited. You're just going to maintain the agriculture business or right. use that's out there. Sure. That's just how our general plan is set up. You got these areas around, there's like open space reserve and, and industrial reserve. It kind of serves as a buffer for development around the city. I, I think it's important and it's um, needed to do the general plan amendment from industrial reserve to limited industrial. And that whole area is going to be industrial. You can say, not limited industrial, say general industrial. Um, can, can I see that map again? The What's from uh, IR to LI? Yeah, here, let me. Please. Yeah, so the one on the left you have IR, Industrial Reserve, the one on the left, you're showing it LI. So the one where it says IR already, those are already IRs? IR, yeah, not all of it is IR, most of it is IR. Um, the top part is PF, which is public facility, but if you look at the properties to the west, um, you can see it's IR. If you go down to the bottom, I think it's um, GI General Industrial. Yeah, you can see that. Can I ask a question? So, we know, I think the reason that the GPA was requested was because the property is already zoned M1, which is not consistent with the IR. Is that correct? That's correct. So, either a rezone had to happen or a GPA had to happen, and we opted for the GPA because wanted M1 uses. So if we keep it LI, um, it's not consistent with the zoning. And zoning and land use have to be consistent with each other. They have to be in alignment, yeah. So is that phrased wrong then? I mean, I'm sorry, can, I can't hear. Uh, yeah, it says IR2 LI. Right. If it's already I, uh, LI. No, that's a proposal that um, we're reflecting the parts of that we're recommending to be redesignated LI. If you look at the one on the left, the map on the left, you see it's IR. That's the current general plan designation. 
And Martha can zoom in on that, yeah. So that's IR, IR, IR. So then just one more clarifying question, sorry. So any property with the general plan land use designation of IR in this reserve would have to do a GPA? Right, yeah. So if we take it from IR to LI, means that that we are able to build, to develop that property. Yes. Whereas right consistent. now it's just being held in reserve, and it's really doing nothing. Correct. If you change this, the general plan from IR to LI, you'll be consistent with the current zoning of M1. Okay. Which M1 is? M1. Yeah, M1 is limited industrial, and so to develop out there, the general plan should also say LI, well, or I, I, G, I think it is. G. But GI? GI, yeah. General industrial. So it can be either general industrial or um, LI, limited industrial. Okay, GI. I'll make the motion to. Can I see what it says again? <laughs> oh. uh, to amend the general plan amendment. The general plan from IR to I -R LI. To L -I. Right? Yeah, yes. that's right. Okay. And I'll second that. Did we get a second down there? I didn't hear. Okay, thank you. So it's been moved in a second? I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, oh, was it? Yeah. Roll call. Commissioner Rene Mendonca? Yes. Commissioner Andres Fuentes? Yes. Commissioner Jose Flores? Yes. Vice Chair Steve Bassey? Yes. Chair Bob Wallace? Yes. Motion approved by a vote of 5 0. This item will be scheduled to go to the city council. Um, we're targeting the second meeting in October. Okay, let's go on to item number eight, Miguel. <clears throat> 